And hello Hamish, uh, we are back in the kitchen again today. What have you got to show us from Mastercraft Kitchens? Okay, Mastercraft's head designer Kristen Reed has been back out in the field and uh, she's going to take us through a uh, quite a modern kitchen that I like for uh, quite a few reasons. So we'll have a look at the clip and then we can have a chat after that. Okay. We're out in rural Waikato where our clients have purchased some land. They've now built their dream home. Let's take a look at the heart of it, the kitchen. The family needed the kitchen to be a well-defined space. The cook wanted to have her own room to get dinner ready and keep everyone else out. As you can see in this kitchen, we have heaps of storage, but a growing family with two small children and one on the way, you can never have enough. We've also got this large walk-in pantry with a cavity slider door to conveniently hide the mess away. Another storage solution in this home are these kids' cubbies. As the kids come through the garage, they can leave their school bags and coats here. Kim has also designed functional laundry cabinetry. This bench top's a bit different. This is an acrylic composite, not a stone composite. If this was stone, we would usually have a visible join here. So this material was perfect for this space because of the size of the bench top. Acrylic is also warmer to touch, so it's perfect when the kids are sitting up here doing the colouring in. It's more comfortable for them to lean against. Other benefits of this bench top is it's non-porous. So that means it's easy to clean, it's stain resistant, doesn't hold bacteria and doesn't retain odour. Another key design feature about this kitchen you may have noticed is it has two sinks. A second sink next to the hob is essentially creating a hot zone. This is a safety feature when there's children in the kitchen you can safely drain your vegetables. Mastercraft Kitchen's designer Kim Primrose met with a client to discuss her design. Her only requirements were she'd already purchased this fridge, fallen in love with this tile over a year ago and she wanted a slatted carry feature over here. As well as being a family kitchen, this kitchen is an entertainer's dream. It's got amazing indoor outdoor flow. A bar fridge positioned here means you can grab a beer and head straight out to the deck without interrupting the cook in the kitchen. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful kitchen, so isn't it? I know your favourite bit, the bit at the end where she grabs the drink and heads out to the thing. <laughs> the bar yeah. fridge. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, what, what did you like about that kitchen? Okay, a few things. Uh, I like the fact that the kitchen, although it had some colour and texture to it, it was still a, a relatively neutral kitchen, so it shows you that you don't have to do white and be right. plain to have a nice neutral kitchen that people are going to you know, be there and enjoy. I love the bench top. I mm -hmm. like the use of acrylics. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never heard of acrylics before. So there are things like your corians and bits and pieces. You'll see things like corian in your most notable place. <clears throat> Kentucky Fried Chicken's counters. Oh, yeah. Um, the reason for that is they can be welded so you can put them into different seams. So as you saw, there was no seam running through mm -hmm. it. Uh, the other, they are um, really big on hygiene because uh, things like uh, granite bench tops can be porous. So if you do have food preparation on them, let's face it, you shouldn't prepare food right. on your bench but it happens, it can lead to bugs and bacteria. Or you spill your red wine or something. Yeah, like. so it's hard to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and curry powder is enough. Oh, and <laughs> turmeric. <laughs> curry powder is no good. <laughs> turmeric wine, you've got yellow for life. Uh, what about the second sink was interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, I've seen it done, obviously, going into a scullery. Um, to have it out next to the, uh, the hot area is a good idea. And I, I think, once again, it shows you how um, an owner used a designer to chat about how they wanted the kitchen to function and that was the resolution of it which was to have the second sink. If you are using a designer and you want to give them a brief, this client clearly had the fridge to start with. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I bought this fridge now design a kitchen around Quite it. Around it. <laughs> Where's another good place to start? Well, I think people should have a scrapbook. I know that sounds old school, actually. Yeah. I've moved into the modern world now. I, too, have Pinterest. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> took me a while, I'm a bit slow on the technology. Uh, Pinterest is a good thing. You can gather ideas. But you've got to remember, they are just ideas. Uh, and then you can pass that on easily to your, um, to your designer. And having a sense of sp feel of how you want the space to work. Do, right. you, do you want it to be open to everybody? Do you want it to be more closed off, like this client did? So as it feels like it's your area. Mm -hmm. You're still engaging across the bench top. You don't have people coming in. Yeah. I particularly like, too, the fact fact that they had done the laundry to yes, tone in. Yes. I like a finished laundry yeah. with a proper sink. You can mm -hmm. get a, um, I'm not a fan of like tubs and bits and pieces. I tell you what, messy. Um, I might need to talk to them about my laundry. You should see it. No, you can't see it because you absolutely hate it. It's semi-renovated. Semi-renovated. And uh, having the, uh, the shelving units in the garage was a great idea. I really like that, particularly if you've got a country place. You can have a place where the kids can take off their gear and away you go. Yeah. Brilliant. And that's a good thing when you're using designers, you know, you get everything that you need. And uh, I love the lighting too. So, so much to talk about. If you felt inspired and you want to find out more, go to mastercraft.co.nz or call their 0800 number on screen now. <laughs>